So for this project, I started with a seven by five inch canvas that I actually picked up at the Dollar Tree. I took matte Mod Podge and painted the top of the canvas. Then I took out these real cute napkins that I had picked up from Walmart. They were about $2.88 for 20 napkins. And I cut out the picture that I wanted on the front. And I would suggest you probably get this ready before you put the Mod Podge down. <laughs> I didn't realize it would be so hard to pull apart because they're two-ply napkins. And then I took it and I put it on top of the canvas on the Mod Podge. And then I took some plastic wrap and a brayer tool to smooth it out. That way the, the plastic wrap just wrap just helps protect the napkin from ripping or anything and then I sealed it down on the edges uh, the edges that ran over the sides and um, continued to smooth out any areas <clears throat> that I thought needed smoothing and then I took some more Mod Podge and I painted over the top and even though you can see some little wrinkles trust me when it dries it you can't really notice them at all and then I took my celestial fire glass and you can use any kind of fire glass this is one quarter inch and it's clear and you probably could even use a pink if you wanted to and I put it um, all over the flower area I thought that would look real pretty I let it dry for a few hours and then it was ready for resin so um, when I use resin, I wear gloves, I use a respirator. The resin I'm using for this project is ClearCast 7000. It's a one-to-one -one ratio resin, one part resin to one part hardener. You mix them equally in the cup. When you first put them in the cup, they're clear. As you start to mix it, it becomes cloudy. And then after your about three minutes are up and it's thoroughly mixed, it'll turn clear again. You're supposed to scrape the sides and scrape the bottom. And the slower you mix it, the less bubbles you'll get. This is such a uh, tiny, easy project to do, but I just had to show it to you because I thought it turned out so cute. And I mean, you could make up a dozen of these and give them to your friends or something at Easter time. I just thought they were so cute or like a hostess gift or something. But anyway, when, the, um, when I was done mixing the resin, I spooned it over the glass first, as I usually do, and then um, on the rest of the project. Now, uh, usually I mix too much resin up, but this time I think I got just the right amount. And then I used my finger and spread it over the canvas where the glass was not. Now the resin needs to um, set at temperatures between 72 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit on a level surface overnight. Then I used the kitchen torch to get rid of any of the bubbles. And when I was done with that, I covered it with a dust cover to help prevent any dust or anything getting into it.